guys. What's up, divas? What's up, divos? So I've had this wig for a minute, and I've also worked with this company prior, probably like two times. They're called Y Wigs. They sent me this really mature wig, you know, salt and pepper. Any of you that are more mature, you have salt and pepper hair, but you want to wear a wig, you can definitely check out Y Wigs. This one is really cute. It's a bob, so you can see like the gradients of gray in this, which is really nice, and the hair is not so dark. I don't have any gray hairs, but I figured I would try this because not only is it for more mature women, but listen, some of us that are not of age, we do have like hair issues such as sometimes our hair will gray earlier, but it's also like a style too. You know what I'm saying? It has highlights of gray in it. It is a 10 inch bob and it's 150% density. It's a 13 by six lace front and it does come with the removable black elastic band. So I'm hoping that this does not get in the way because a lot of times I've noticed with companies that sew these in kind of like get in the way of where your ear is going to be. So you have to remove them. I will show you guys how your wig comes in a second. Prior to this when you see the wig you will see that the lace was a lot lighter than this I did have to use some of my tinting spray by even New York I did purchase this from eBay thanks to one of my fellow youtubers here which is by the name of natural joy she showed an amazing video of how you can use this product there are a lot of videos on youtube on this but i found hers the most informative also she did do a great demonstration using this on a synthetic wig and it helped me a lot in deciding whether or not i wanted to spend ten dollars i know ten dollars is not a lot but hey let me tell you something it can be if you're going to purchase something that you're never going to use i will say that this product is a really great product it does not drip once you add your hair spray or glue to it it actually stays in place I did spray it last night and it dries so quick once I sprayed it I did let it dry for a couple minutes and I did do the hand test and none of the actual tinting spray came off and the color that I have is a light warm brown it will have a bead inside of it so it's kind of like we about to you know spray paint our wig our lace so you want to definitely spray it on the inside so that did help a lot in the transition of this lace we're just going to get right into this video real quick but before we do let me show you guys how your wig comes and in the meantime i'm gonna just go ahead and cut the back of the lace off at the when you receive your wig from ywigs.com your unit will come in their standard black box Y wigs will send amenities such as hair accessories, a few extra combs for your unit, and a black elastic band in case you want to make your unit a lot more tighter, and a wig cap to protect your hair. The unit that I received is a 12 inch virgin Brazilian curly 13 by 6 inch bob. This is a newer unit and her name is Sierra and she is one of the salt and pepper collection lace front wigs. As you guys will see you may need to bleach the knots. This wig does have highlights in it of a more grayish tone as this is a salt and pepper lace front. The wig is 150% in density and there is 6 inches of parting space. You can check out ywigs.com as they have many different units to choose from. I will post all of their information below. out I went ahead and I cut the lace at the nape and it does have the standard combs and the adjustable strap in the nape as well so let's just give this a try I'm really hoping that listen this adjustable black elastic band the removable one does not interfere okay so let's do this y'all all right guys so let's put this unit on as I, guys, as I said the unit does come with the black elastic band that you can remove However, I am having a little bit of difficulties placing the unit where the actual black elastic band hooks are at. So I'm thinking I may have to remove them. 
prior to cutting the lace or prior to removing them, I'm just going to cut the lace and see if it works out a little bit different. So I'm first going to start off with a pair of scissors. And then I decided to use my brow trimmers for this. The lace does cut really easy. I'm really glad that I did use the Even New York aerosol spray on the unit just to tint it because the lace was a little bit too light. But the aerosol can by even is really easy to use. There's no way you can make any type of mistakes. It dries super quick. And things were getting a little bit difficult with that brow trimmer, so I decided to go back to the scissors. And I'm just gonna kind of cut around the hairline because I really don't want a straight blunt cut. And as you guys see, the spots where they put the black elastic bands, like the, the tabs of them, are definitely in the way. So I had to remove them. And there's still another piece of metal that is also going to restrict me from making the wig fit properly, especially over my ear. So when I cut this spot right here, which is just the excess lace that's overflapping my ear, as you guys see right here, I have to cut through the metal ear tab just to remove it. So I really don't like those metal ear tabs either because it is very restricting, especially if the wig does not fit properly. And I really don't feel like you need both. You don't need the black elastic band and the metal ear tabs, just choose one. And I'm, I'm just not like a huge fan of the removable black elastic bands only because it seems like every time you get them, you have to actually remove the entire pieces and then re-sew them back in or just sew in a regular black elastic band. I'm just one, I just like the regular black elastic bands. So I'm just gonna part the hair in the front and I'm not gonna use all of the baby hairs, but I do like to part the hair in the front like this so that way I could put my hairspray. And for today's video, we're gonna be using the Chi Iron Guard Style and Stay Firm Hold Protector Spray. This spray actually does work, it does hold. I did use it in a prior video and so I decided to use it for this one to see how good it'll spray. So what I do is I spray it on the inside and I also spray it on the outside in between the parts. And I just take my blow dryer on cool to medium heat and I just blow dry it until the product is dry. This one does dry pretty fast too and it does give you a nice hold. Um, if I had to compare it to like Bedhead or the Got To Be Glam Force, I wouldn't give them the same type of threshold um, for hold. I would say like for the safeguards, you probably get like a day or two. So if you don't want to wear the wig for that long, then I think this one will work good for you. But there's also a lot of different alternative hairsprays. So you don't really have to go with this one, but I just wanted to see how it would hold and just kind of like, you know, demo it out since I had it. And I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So I did forget to mention you guys that I did bleach the knots in the unit. Along with that, I did use my purple shampoo to remove any type of brassy tones. And I kept the bleach on probably for like about 45 minutes. I used the 30 developer along with that, the B2W bleach. Now I'm just going to take my brow trimmers and cut the wispy hairs a little bit shorter in the front just in case we need them. And I'm just going to repeat that same, uh, same step on the opposite side. Along with that, I'm just going to trim these sideburn hairs because you guys know I like some sideburn hairs okay and being that the hair is already like a curly kind of loose wave once I washed it I just decided to put my own curls in it because I wanted something a little bit different but once you wash it the curls look so pretty I like the loose waves to me it's loose waves I don't think it's curls I think it's more like big beachy waves and those look really good too so if you don't like to curl your hair this is an easy wig you can just wash it and allow it to air dry and you're good to go but i did take my dollar tree styling mousse which is the salon selectives and i just put that on the back of my hand and sculpted in the wispy hairs or the baby hairs or the flyaways whatever you want to call them i really don't like to use gel because it will make the hair hard and with the mousse it doesn't get hard but it will sculpt them in place and then you can just easily lift them if you don't want them laying up against your face so that is how she came out guys this is how i curled her i used a really small barrel curler on her you can definitely do different styles with her this one is 12 inches 
It does come in shorter lengths as well. And I do like the way that they did this color. I do apologize for the color in the video. I was unaware that I had the protector lens on and this was prior to me fixing it. So I do apologize for the color in the video. But you know, a couple more videos, one more video like this color and you know, after that, everything's good to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are looking for a wig that is salt and pepper color, you'll definitely want to check out Y Wigs. And also, if you just want to try it out and you ain't salt and pepper, you can definitely still check out Y Wigs because I think this wig is cute. Plus, they got a lot of different other styles to choose from and it's very affordable. All right, you guys. So this is the final finished look of this unit. It came out really cute. I did forget to tell you guys that it is more or less like a wet, wavy, kind of like wet, wavy kind of style. When you wash it, it will get really wavy, um, kind of like big chunks of waves. I went ahead and put a little curl to this with my small barrel curl only because I wanted a little bit more definition to the curls or waves. You don't have to. You can actually just wear it, let it dry, air dry, and just wear it and you're good to go. But once I put the actual spray to it, the Even New York, it just worked out really well for me, especially with this unit. The one good thing about this is when you put your product to it, like your hairspray or whatever, it's not moving. Like it stays in place. It doesn't drip. You know, you don't see the color running you can build the color I did spray it probably like three or four times the hair is cute like for a gray wig you guys this is really cute I do like the color in it but you ain't got to be growing gray you ain't got to have salt and pepper hair just to wear it you know it is a trend at least I think it is or oh, if it ain't it's gonna be one now okay I decided to put it like this just so that way you can see that there are different styling options so on that note let me know what you think of this this unit right here i'll post all the information below i got to go gotta do my last video so make sure you check out that upcoming video i love you guys stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and all that good stuff and yeah i'm looking a little crazy right now but yeah i will see you guys soon Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.